Hi, Sim, Sim Goody. Goody. <laughs> I'm Ryan Vaughn, and I'm a producer on The Sims Team. I am Graham Lardone. I am also a producer on The Sims Team. <laughs> and uh, Sim Goody has sent us a whole list of questions about The Sims 3 pets that, uh, that we thought we might answer for you guys today. Yeah, we figured, you know, uh, go run around the studio a little, meet some dev team members, uh, ambush a few people. We'll, we'll see what kind of answers we can get for you guys. Have a little fun with it. Yeah, you guys get a lot of answers out of us, but we're not just the only two guys that make the whole entire game. We have a whole team of lots of talented people, so we wanted we wanted to get some of their opinions on the game, too. So I think we might go do some uh, ambush journalism on them. And I think for the fans who follow us on Twitter, uh, SimGuru Ryan, SimGuru Graham, our talented camera lady today is Sim Guru Shannon, so Hi. <laughs> check us out. But yeah, let's go get some answers let's, for you guys. Let's do this. <laughs> my name is Karen, and I work in marketing. Um, and I guess you I was I was asked what was my favorite part of Sims 3 Pets. I'm gonna have to say it's the unicorns, and that's just because I really love that glow that they have, and then all the effects and sparkles that run around them. It's really magical, and it really brings a really different t tone into my game. Hey guys, I'm here with Todd. He's the guy that makes all the awesome videos that you see. Whenever there's a Sims 3 video online, everything it's all him right here, exactly. So we wanted to get him on camera now because he's always getting us on there. Is this the best pack yet? Best pack ever. Horses. Awesome. Thanks, Todd. All right, I am here with Yusun. And uh, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit about what you do here? Um, I'm Yusun, and I'm an animator on Sims 3 pretty awesome, so she gets to uh, interact with the pets and really bring them to life. Uh, if you can see, she has a wonderful array of Sims titles behind her. She's <laughs> been with us for quite some time. <laughs> now, Yusin, we have a very important question for you today. Um, fans really want to know, do the animals poop oh. like they did in The Sims Unleashed, or do they just pee like they did in The Sims 2 Pets? Um, actually, they don't... <laughs> they they just pee, but the female dogs squat down, so it kind of looks like they are pooping. Does that does that answer your question? Classy answers for classy questions. <laughs> That's what we do here on the Sim scene. All right, thank you, Yusa. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Cheyenne, and she's one of the modelers on the team, and she makes all the really cool objects in the game. She makes them look awesome. Uh, we have a question for you today. Uh, are there birds in The Sims 3 Pets? We know there's cats, dogs, and horses, but are there birds? There are birds. There are large birds and small birds, and there's a variety of different ones. Nice. And you can put them in a couple different places, right? I know yeah. you guys worked on a few different like cages and mm -hmm. stuff. There's a cage, and then there's an exposed tree okay. so that they can go on and eat and hang out. Awesome. So I have one more question for you. It looks like you have a still life here in the back <laughs> of your cube. Now, is this something you take inspiration from? Um, you know, it just comes to me. Okay. It's awesome. We see Freezer Bunny has invaded your cube. Mm -hmm. he kind of, he kind of works his way around. But I like his new tough look. He, he's pretty badass with his collar. It's awesome. Yes. Cool. Thank you, Cheyenne. Thanks, we appreciate Cheyenne. it. Alright, next person. Hey guys, I'm here with Sam, and she's a concept artist on the team, and she basically makes all these really cool drawings and sketches of the stuff we want to make into the game before we've even started making the game. So, you guys might be able to see on our screens here, she's got a lot of the stuff we were uh, thinking of putting into the game before we even started making pets. Um, so we know there's lots of really cool, like, uh, pet objects in the game. Do we have anything else for The Sims or maybe in build mode in this pack? Yeah, there's actually a lot of other things. Um, we brought in a lot of furniture and stuff, and we based them off of three different styles. Um, one we were calling Gothic Americana, um, another one we were calling the Equestrian Retreats, and the third one we were calling Family Ranch. So we have a really broad range of styles. Nice. Yeah, there's lots of really cool looking stuff. Graham, you want to get a close-up maybe on there? Mm -hmm. I know Sim Guru Shannon has uh, started releasing some of this stuff. Uh, you're going to see it in-game when you get it. Uh, there's some really cool like couches there I think that ended up making it uh, but it's a lot of fun getting to see these before we start making the game and then once they finally get into the game it's so cool to see them come to life when the Sims are using them and interacting with them so uh, Sam has a big part in uh, making what some of the objects are gonna look like finally at the end of the game so thanks Sam sure hey everybody so I'm here with Sam Breach she is one of our very talented world builders uh, I actually had the pleasure of working closely with the World Builder uh, team on this pack, uh, creating a brand new town. Now, what is the name of that town, Sam? The town is called Appaloosa Plains. Cool. Now, you specifically worked really closely with the families and the different Sims and kind of the stories behind them, right? Yes, that's correct. So, maybe any favorites, anything cool for the players to look forward to in it? 
Um, there's an orphan family who I'm really fond of. Uh, their parents died. Um, I think you'll find the parents maybe, maybe somewhere in the game, but they are definitely dead. Um, and there's also a very posh lady that um, split up from her husband and came from uh, came from the city, and she's living there with her fun, uh, her, her son, and she's really very horsey and very posh. Now, one more question I have to ask because I have fans on Twitter asking me all the time: Is there a crazy cat lady in the game? Oh yes, <laughs> there is a very very crazy cat lady. She's a uh, She's totally mad. She lives in a very sort of run-down house, away from everybody else. She has lots of cats, and she's definitely crazy. <laughs> all she right. even has a little cat hat with ears. She all the time. Well, thank you very much, Sam. Uh, it's going to be a cool new world. Check it out. Uh, thank you. Hey, guys. I'm here with Brent, and he is our QA lead on the team. He's in charge of making sure the game plays as best as it can. Uh, and we're going to ask him a couple questions. The first being, can cats and dogs ride in cars and taxis? Uh, they can, but only when they're with a the sim. Okay, that makes sense. You you would see a cat or a dog in a car, but not if they were by themselves right. driving down the street. Did we ever see that maybe in any of the bugs that came through early in the game? Um, they were sometimes in weird positions, but they were always with a sim. That's good to know, good to know. And I think we had one more is, can a horses go inside houses? No. That would be another one of those things that if a horse was like doing the dishes in the kitchen or something, it'd be a little weird. It'd be a little off-putting, yeah. yes. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know we're safe from uh, the, the dishwashing horses in this game. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate it. No problem. Now, I think before we go, the disembodied floating voice of the cameraman wants to ask a question. Now, if we can zoom in here. Brent has a very nice monitor, and I don't know about the fans, but all the developers on the team would really like to know... How do you have the nicest monitor in the studio? Um, managing hardware for QA has its benefits. <laughs> nice. All right, thank you, Brent. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm here with Waylon. Uh, in the background, you can see Freezer Bunny's getting his juice on, so we're all having a good time. Now, uh, Waylon, what is it that you do on the team? I am a gameplay engineer on pets. I worked on, my main feature was the minor pets, also known as snakes, lizards, rodents, turtles, and I had played some part in birds. <laughs> so yeah, lots of cool little kind of pets and critters in there. Uh, I think people are wondering, you know, what exactly can you do with those guys? Well, they're pretty cool. You can keep them in their terrarium or cage, feed them, take care of them, play with them. Uh, birds have a few more interactions. You can teach them to talk. Uh, you, uh, the coolest thing with both birds and the other pets is you can carry them around and pretty much go about your daily routine with them. Uh, you can even go for a ride in a taxi with your snake in your hand. <laughs> yeah, I always thought it was pretty awesome, you know, taking, uh, you know, the bird, putting them on your shoulder, just strutting down downtown. But uh, you actually, you're kind of infamous on the team for putting a little humor into your features, right? Yes, I so... do like giving the players a little bit of Mm, I wouldn't say grief, but <laughs> hard time here and there. Anything uh, we can look out for with the minor pets? Yeah, don't keep them in your inventory too long, <laughs> otherwise you might have uh, your, your little animals running about your house. Alright, well, one final thing. Now, I've heard that there's a cap, uh, a household cap. You know, when you have your cats, your dog, your horse, you can have up to six of them in your family. But with the minor pets, that's different, right? That is correct. You can have as many of these you can fit in your lots. So you could just go nuts with them. Yep. <laughs> well, that'll be pretty awesome. Uh, thanks a lot, Will. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Matt Yang. He is uh, one of the designers on the team, and he actually designed everything about dogs in the game. So everything that's awesome about dogs, you can thank this guy. It's awesome. So we had a question from the fans, and they're wondering, can you take dogs for walks? Yeah, absolutely. You uh, you can pick any lot in the world, and uh, they hook up a leash to them, and they wander all the way through town, and uh, they'll stop occasionally and maybe pee or sniff something. So it's uh, it's really cool. Excellent. That's good to hear. I know some people were asking about leashes and stuff, so they actually hook uh, hook up the leash to the dog. And yep. Stuff. Yep. Very cool. Well, that's good to hear. We like that. Now I noticed you had something pretty cool looking on your screen over here. Uh, it looks like it might be. Uh, Perhaps a bug from the game. Is that a horse? Uh, is yeah. that a horse doing a nosedive? <laughs> it, it is indeed. Uh, this was right when we were getting horses into the game, and um, this was actually animating, so the horse's tail was moving a little bit back and forth and kind of uh, moving around a little bit. 
That's <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite screenshots <laughs> from the game. That's a good one. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing with us, man. Absolutely. We it. Hey, guys. I'm here with Emmy. She's one of the artists on The Sims 3 team. I actually have some very special questions for her. We'll start with The Sims 3 pets, uh, and then I'll let you guys in on a little secret. So, Emmy, I see there's a, a freezer bunny theme going on here. Mm -hmm. Is there a new freezer bunny in The Sims 3 pets? There's actually a freezer bunny gnome. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. I look forward to seeing it popping up on my lot sometime. Uh, but we actually have a very special thing to tell. Uh, Emmy actually created Freezer Bunny, right? <laughs> yep. That's awesome. When did you first make him? Um, on one of the Sims 2 expansion Sims packs, 2. yeah. Okay. Is there any kind of like origin or some kind of story of where he came from? Or what's, what's his story? So, um, on a, in a community lot freezer, I was supposed to put a lot of stuff in the free freezer and you know I thought what would be funny that I could hide in there and I just thought well why not a frozen bunny <laughs> that is awesome it's very cool and we were looking at some of the stuff on your screen it looks like you've kind of made some pretty cool freezer bunny sketches over the years mm -hmm. the Santa Claus freezer bunny the coffee bunny which one is your favorite um, I don't know I do like coffee bunny it makes yeah. me feel relaxed maybe we'll see him in a Sims game some down the line huh? mm -hmm. awesome well thanks for sharing with us we really appreciate it Hey guys, I'm here with Carlos, who is another uh, gameplay engineer on the team, and he did a lot of stuff on the horses. Um, so Carlos, I heard you worked on the new racing skill for yep. horses, is that right? Very cool. So if a player wanted to teach their horse one of the racing skills, how would they start teaching them it? Well, there are many ways to do that. Uh, first of all, they can take the horse to the Western Center, where they can... And that's a brand new rabbit hole, It's right? a brand new rabbit hole, Very where they can cool. do plenty of things with the horses. For example, they can go into racing competitions, where, they, where the horse will get racing, racing points. Okay, basically. so they can go and compete and they'll, they'll be building up yeah. their racing skill. And the more they compete, the more chances they have to win. Nice. And then what happens if they win? They get some trophies, they get right. uh, skills for the, for the same as skills nice. for the horse, and they get plenty of play goodies. Very cool. Can you win simoleons? Yeah. You awesome. Can make a lot of money. So you can make money. And you can build a career too. Very also, you can read books. There are some books for the for the rider. Very classic way but, to, yeah. learn, to learn skills. To, to get a Riding skill, which you require to get for, uh, to get the horse a bigger racing skill. Gotcha. So you need to use the Sims riding skill in combination with yeah. the horse's racing skill to go into the competition. Very cool. And also with the horse, you can train the horse in training pose, which will uh, give the horse more uh, racing skill the more they train. Very cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. You, yeah. can, you got the, the equestrian center, you can read books, or you can even place the racing posts, I think, on yeah. your lot. Tracing posts. Training posts. Training posts. Awesome. Very cool. Well, thanks for talking. Thank you for talking, for talking with us. Sweet. Bye.